the Surefire E2T MV, more affectionately known as the Surefire Tactician. Let's talk about this thing. This is the Civilian Armory. Um, what can be said about this thing? This light was designed by a fella whose name you may or may not recognize. Um, me and all my friends, we certainly would. Um, we all know who he is. Um, don't know him, but know of him. His name, James Yeager. He got with Surefire and designed this light specific for fighting. It is intended to do this. This is a design feature of the light. So, just getting right into features, we'll get into specs here in a minute. Um, he he came up with this idea here to have the lanyard at the tail cap in and be long enough to come over the head and then secure it to your hand like this so that you can be hands free okay you can you know it might be a little awkward but you could you could push buttons on a phone with the hand that this light was in if you had to um and, and honestly that's a fantastic idea that's that's kind of one of the things about holding a flashlight um, it's hard to do anything else with this hand if you're holding a flashlight. There are, I mean, you could, you could do it like this, but then you don't really have a good point on the light and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a feature that I like a lot, even though I have kind of, kind of big hands and it is a little, a little tight for me to get that on there. I can get it on there and I think it's a great idea. Some guys I've seen have taken this lanyard off. I don't know why. Um, I like it. Maybe they just, you know, not about lanyards. And that's fine. To each their own. Other features of this light. It has two modes. Actually, four modes. Um, you have a high mode with the head screwed all the way tight. The head all the way tight is high mode. That is 800 lumens, which is a pretty good output for a small light like this. There are lights that have you know higher outputs, um, but for a light this slim, I don't off the top of my head know of any. Maybe, maybe the WowTac A1S, which I did not have great luck with. Um, but 800 lumens out of a small light like this is is a good output, right? Another feature here, you can turn this head. I keep mine tight. You can turn it a quarter turn and have a five lumen light for doing small things, you know, looking for, you know, your keys or something or or whatever, you know, up close so that you don't get, you know, kind of that light blind from having eight eight hundred lumens bounce off of something and and uh shine in your eyes. Um personally I run it all the way tight, it's just me. Um light discipline, I just I, I don't shine it at something that's going to reflect a bunch of light back at me. Um, works great for umbrella lighting. If you're walking into a, a dark room and you, you're not sure what's going on, you don't necessarily want to shine it off the wall, umbrella lighting is a great way. And, and we could make a whole video about uh, light usage disciplines and so on and so forth. Um, it's got a nice pocket clip here, very sturdy, very sturdy pocket clip. A lot of people have said that they didn't care for the pocket clip. So... Um, there's an easy remedy to that. It comes off real easy. I don't use my pocket clip, but I leave it on there because it doesn't bother me. As you can see here, this light takes two CR123 batteries. I run Surefire batteries because it is a Surefire light. I trust them to make the battery that they want used. You'll see here, the threads are O-ring sealed. Mine are a little dirty. This light gets carried every day. I've carried this light for around six months now. But if you want to take your pocket clip off, you can peel your O-ring seal off and just push out on that pocket clip and it'll, it'll come right off. You can put your O-ring seal back on. This doesn't change the, the sealing of the head. It doesn't change the function of the light. Not at all. Like I say, I've left mine on there despite the fact that I don't use it. But if you don't like it being there, you can certainly take it off and this is how. Right? It doesn't hurt it a bit. And we get our 800 lumens of face melting. I believe James referred to it as a wall of light. And that's true. Some people who talk about this light say that it doesn't really have a hot spot. And that's not true. 
basically the entire thing is hotspot. Um, this is the Surefire Max Vision head. Kind of kind of hard to tell, but it's not a very deep head. Um, it is a smooth head with a nice, nice lens on it. Um, very robust around the lens. Very, very thick in this area to keep you from breaking the lens if you did wax something with it. And uh, seeing as James designed this to be kind of a fighting light, I, I, I wouldn't have a problem giving somebody a good clunk with this light, um, you know, kind of as a baton or something like that. Um, it's not a sharp, it's not a sharp crenellation on the barrel, but there is, there is some, uh, some feature there. Uh, the, the finish on this light has been very durable. Like I say, I've carried this one every day for six months and it's only got just very slight finish wear there on the corners of the, uh, front of the bezel. Um, Finish is holding up fantastically. Uh, many of my stream lights would have been basically raw aluminum after six months of pocket carry for me. Getting to the other end, you've got, as we talked about, the lanyard there. If you don't like that, you can just unclip it and uh, take it off of there. It, it just pinches just like this. You'll pinch it and just sort of unfish hook it. To take it off if you don't like it. Um, I personally like that feature very much, even though my hands are almost too big to use it. So we talked about how the the head can be screwed out a, a quarter turn to get into a low mode. The tail cap has a similar feature. You can screw this tail cap all the way in and have constant on. I have mine disabled because I had a problem with it. It would come, it would get screwed in in my pocket and cause the light to come on in my pocket which does two things that causes the, to get very 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 hot in your pocket and it also drain the battery so after two times of pulling this light out to look at something hitting the button and having it be dead because it had come on in my pocket and and drain the battery i uh what i did and james has a different fix for this on his channel uh, a subscriber of his sent him the specs and maybe even sent him the o-rings or the the washers you he put two small washers in the gap there that keep it from turning all the way in what i did i pulled the cap off took the o-ring off just like on this side there's an o-ring on that side that o-ring there i took the o-ring off of this side and put on an o-ring with a that was thicker to keep it from screwing all the way in. It still screws in far enough that I still have the push button feature, but man, I don't think you can screw it in hard enough to uh, to get it to be constant on. So that was my fix for the problem. So why would you want to carry two lights? Some of you are, are thinking here, well, you know, I've already got a light on my pistol. Okay, why, why isn't that good enough? Maybe it is good enough, but I'll tell you my theory here, my light usage theory. And all it comes down to is a redundancy in safety. Okay, if you're walking through a parking lot and, you know, maybe you're in a bad neighborhood or whatever, and, 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 you know, your, your spidey sense is going off and you have reason to believe that maybe something bad is going to happen. You know, maybe it is an okay idea to, uh, to just have your hand on your gun, but I don't know that it's an okay idea to just be walking around with your gun out so that you can shine your light on stuff. I'm pretty against that. Uh, I'll go as far as to say that's a stupid idea, right? And it may be illegal, that's probably going to be considered brandishing in a lot of places, right? Because you're pointing a gun at stuff, okay? No one would think anything of a guy walking through a parking lot with a flashlight, right? You're just walking along, minding your own business. You're still carrying your gun, right? And some guy hops out from behind a car. You can hit him with a flashlight real quick. And I promise you that if you shine this flashlight in someone's eyes, he's... he's You've got control of him for a moment, 
right? He can't see what's going on now. This is a very bright light. It was intended for this use, okay? You can shine that light at that guy, and while you're holding the light on him, right? You're holding the light on him. You can be drawing your gun, and then if, you know, you think you need to go ahead and point a gun at him, point a gun at him, and you're still pointing a light at him, and he doesn't know now that you're pointing a gun at him. You can say, hey, you know, wear your hands, whatever. We're getting a little off the rail there. There's a lot of things in the world that you would need to shine a light at that you may not want to point a gun at, okay? What if it's not a dark parking lot and some guy hops out behind from behind a car? What if it's your dog or, God forbid, one of your kids downstairs in your house you hear a noise and you know you grab your gun and you go downstairs and hit the light and now you're pointing a freaking loaded gun at your kid man pull your head out think about what you're doing right if if you're needing to identify a threat and it's dark shining a light at them first is almost always going to be the right idea right you can you can make your own decisions but but as a person who carries a gun every day and shoots, God, thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds every year in classes where I am getting professional training, I'll tell you that I carry both for the reasons I've just talked about. So now the boring part of the video, just down to specs. In high mode, this light produces 800 lumens. It will maintain... 800 lumens of output. The, the runtime at 800 lumens is 1.5 hours. In the low mode, that mode, little small, small light mode, that is 5 lumens. It'll runtime on that is 94 hours. It will run forever in low mode. Um, they do have O rings on either side of the either cap of this thing, but on none of the packaging did it say that it was waterproof so I'm not gonna tell you that it's waterproof I, if I had to guess I'd say it is but what I'll tell you is that it's water resistant okay none of my packaging and I actually have my packaging around here because I keep packages for everything uh, none of my packaging said anything about it being waterproof it says 800 lumens for one and a half hours five for 94 max vision beam included batteries be seen at a distance of 114 meters talks on the back here but nowhere does it say that it is you know got a certain certification for waterproofness so assume that it is water resistant and go on from there is this the light for you might be it is the light for me this is the light that i carry every day and uh, in a defensive situation, I would be happy to have this light with me. Thanks for watching, guys.